today I'm going to show you how to make matcha mochi brownies. First, you're going to need some quality matcha. I'm using Let's Matcha, which is a Canadian matcha company. They're fair trade and certified organic. I'll include a link in the description box if you want more info. Now you'll need two tablespoons of vegetable oil, three and a half tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of matcha, and one cup of water. Heat all of these components on a stove top under medium high heat and whisk until it's all melted and combined. After a couple of minutes of stirring, it should look like this. Now in a separate bowl, measure out two and a quarter cup of mochi flour, also called glutinous rice flour. You can find them at most oriental supermarkets. Now with this flour, it's not necessary to sift it, but you can if you'd like. Now add the sugar, baking soda, salt, and just mix through thoroughly. Now pour in the liquid mixture and just lightly stir it around until it kind of looks like this. Now you'll want to crack in two eggs and add a dash of vanilla extract and stir, stir, stir. Once the eggs are combined, it'll look a lot smoother like this. Now I'm using Trader Joe's coconut oil spray to grease the pan, but you can use whatever you want. Now pour that baby in. Oh yeah! Once you're done smoothing the surface and getting all the air bubbles out of it, put it in the oven for 45 to 50 minutes. And now it's done! Give it a few minutes to cool on a cooling rack and now you can cut into this deliciousness. Oh yeah, listen to that crunch. By the way, one way to prevent your knife from sticking to the brownie is to run it under hot water after every cut. And that's all folks. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you do, please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching!